Hey boys and girls. So I have Eli and Quinn here with me, um, which we haven't done um, a lesson together, but I figured that they could help me with this lesson. This lesson is the PAS lesson about solving problems. So one big thing that you might be facing as far as a problem is the fact that you've been inside your house for several weeks and maybe your mom or your dad or your grandma or grandpa are there or maybe you have your brother and sister uh, there as well and you might get uh, start getting on each other's nerves maybe you've had a problem like Eli and Quinn have had a problem as far as like fighting over a toy you know we know we have a house full of toys but sometimes you just really want that toy so Eli and Quinn, we're going to talk about some ways to solve that problem. So Eli, what would you do if you came across a problem like you were angry at Quinn because you wanted to use the toy he was playing with, or maybe he was taking the toy you were playing with? So sometimes that happens. And um, so first of all, you would let go of the toy, take a, f a few um, deep breaths, then go upstairs and talk to, um, then go then go to your mom or dad um, and talk about it. Sounds like good strategies. Quinn, what would you do if um, you and Eli were fighting over a toy that you really wanted? I would just tell him I would just go upstairs and talk about it. You just go upstairs and talk about it? Who would you talk about it to? Bounce on the bank. To me, huh? Well, it's you know, a spank. In our <laughs> um, in PAS, we have a process where we have um, a red stop sign and a yellow light and then a green light. And our red stop light means you need to stop. Before you get in a, a fight or get upset with each other, you have to take a break and say, Oof, first, is this a good idea? and take a deep breath and calm yourself down. The next thing, for yellow, you, you think about a plan that you could have, and you both had good plans. Maybe you come up and talk to, to me or to mom about, hey, do you really want this um, toy and you don't wanna get in a fight with Quinn or Eli, so you get in a fight with a toy. Um, it, you work on that plan and you say, okay, does this plan seem like a good idea? Will I get in trouble? Will anyone get hurt? You know, talking to mom and dad, you probably no one's gonna get hurt. So that's a good one and so you go with it, okay? So think about, hey, think about those plans that you can use at home um, to help you with a problem that you're probably gonna come across, is, which is maybe you're frustrated with someone or maybe you're just kind of tired of being stuck inside and people get irritated with each other. You're gonna run into some problems and that's just natural, but think of a good strategy of how to deal with those problems. Well, the book that we're going to read today has some humans dealing with some silly problems. So I'll hold it up for you as best as I can. And this is Diary of a Wombat. <laughs> Diary of the Funny. Uh-uh. Monday morning. Slept. Afternoon. Slept. Evening. Ate grass. Scratched. Night. Ate grass. Slept. I'll show you guys the pictures. There's that silly wombat. Oh my goodness. Tuesday. This is almost like a diary. Yeah. Morning. Slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening, ate grass. Night, ate grass. Decided grass is boring. Scratch, hard to reach the itchy parts. Slept. There's that diary of wombat. And Quinn, I want you to think about good things to how you should act. Okay, so sit on down. On your bottom. <laughs> Wednesday, morning, slept. Afternoon, Mild, cloudy day. I have a new neighbor's humans found the perfect dust bath. Oh my goodness. If you look, they're trying to barbecue and he's, she's trying to take a dust bath, which means the dust is getting in the 
food that they're cooking. Oh my word, look at all that. Isn't that crazy? Maybe it's a he. Look in the back. Could be. I think they call it a she. By the way, I'm trying to do my Australian voice. So, Crocky, we'll see how well that goes. Discovered flat, hairy creature invading my territory. Fought major battle with flat, hairy creature. One battle, neighbor should be pleased, demanded a reward. Hey guys, what's the flat, hairy creature that she's fighting with? It's a welcome mat. It's a welcome mat. So she really tore that welcome mat up. She thought it was something wild and crazy. Received carrot. It was delicious. Evening. Demanded more carrots. Fruity bird. No response. So where is she asking for carrots? What's she doing? At the door. She's at the door. Oh my goodness, what did she do? She chewed a hole in the door. Chewed a hole in the door. For Pete's sake, give her some more carrots. Eight carrots scratched, went to sleep. I'm not sure if this is a real Australian voice, but that's okay. We're pretending. Oh, ma. Thursday morning. Slept. Afternoon. Discovered a perfect scratching post. What scratching post does she have, guys? Uh, um, outdoor table. Yep. Evening. Demanded carrots, no response. Tried yesterday's hole, curiously resistant to my paws. What did they do to the door? They boarded it up. They did, those smart humans. Banged on large metal object till carrots appeared. Eight carrots, began new hole in soft dirt, went to sleep. So what did she bang on? A trash can. A trash Pretty dented up. Yeah, she really banged on a trash can. You making good choices? Okay. Friday morning. Slept. Afternoon. Discovered new scratching post. Oh my goodness. Also discovered new source of carrots. Oh, where did she find the new carrots? In the car. In the car, and where she scratching? On oh the... yeah, on, on the um. On the ladder and the paint's falling. Oh my word, that's crazy. What a woman. Yeah, Evening. Someone has filled in my new hole. She tore up the garden. Soon dug it out again. Night. Worked in hole. Saturday morning. Moved into new hole. Afternoon. Rained. New hole filled up with water, moved back into old hole. Evening, discovered even more carrots. Never knew there were so many carrots in the world. Carrots delicious. Night, finished carrots, slept. So she said it's raining, but what's really happening? It's a sprinkler. The sprinkler. And where did she find the carrots? In the what? In the garden. Oof. Oh, that's one long bit. Sunday, morning, slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening slept. That's quite a life, huh? Night. Let's offer carrots at the back door. Oh. Uh, Sometimes when you get something you want, you discover you don't want it quite as much as you thought you did. Decided carrots are boarding. Chewed a few things. Didn't like any of them. Demanded something other than carrots. Received bowl of oats. Ate oats. Okay. What did she chew Here's up? What did she chew up? Boxes. And boots. And. And pots. And pots. Monday morning. Slept. Okay. Afternoon. Felt energetic. Wet things flapped against my nose on the way to the back door. Got rid of them. Demanded oats and carrots. Only had to bang large metal object for a short time before they appeared. So what did she go through? If you look, what's she walking through? <laughs> she walked through the clothes. Yeah, and she, she got them all. The pants. She got them all what? Dirty. Dirty. Stinky. Evening decided that humans are easily traded and make trade trained and make quite good pets. Night dug new hole to be closer to them. Slept. Oh my word! Where'd she dig the new hole? Oh, under the house. Under the house. The end. The, the end. end. Well, boys and girls, I will talk to you tomorrow. Can you guys say goodbye? Bye.